Hello everyone, today um, it's extremely windy outside. We were gonna do some work outside, but it's really windy and nasty and dusty out there. So we're gonna um, service the John Deere here. We're gonna change the engine oil and filter. So hopefully this video helps you. It's pretty straightforward. I don't think I've done one before on it. So hopefully this helps and let's get this done. So the first thing you want to do is take your tractor outside, let it run for, for probably three to five minutes, get the uh, engine oil all warmed up. And then what you're going to do is pop the hood and we're going to take off this, this side panel here. Okay, so that'll get us to the, uh, the oil filter and the drain plug and all that stuff. So let's, let's pull it outside and get it warmed up. All right, we've took the front end loader off and make sure you take your mower off, your mid-mount mower. So we're gonna pop the hood and take this side panel off. All right, let's take the bolt out. We've loosened it already. Okay, and then the side panel just slides back and then out, and there we go. Okay, so find the drain bolt and it's right there and it's a uh, 19 millimeter, right guys? Yeah. Get a 19 millimeter socket and we're going to drain the oil. Can you crack it? There. Grab it. Mm -hmm. Push the. It should be. Yep. Okay, now when you, when you take it out, pull your hand away really fast, okay? Caleb, can you get us a rag? And don't drop it in the oil bucket. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, get your hand out there, okay? All right, we're gonna let that drain and then we're gonna um, get the oil filter off. So I like to crack the uh, oil pan bolt first and then I come up top and loosen this to let the air into the engine block. Okay, so you're gonna get your uh, small oil filter wrench and we're gonna take that off. All right, our, our filter wrench wasn't small enough so I had to get some big channel lock pliers and spin this filter off. There shouldn't be too much oil coming out of that. And there, she's off. Okay, so let this drain as much as you can and then get a nice clean rag and wipe that all off, okay? Wipe all the oil off the, the engine block and it's gonna drip down on your, your dry shaft too, so. You wanna show them that, Caleb? Down here. So make sure you clean all that oil off everything here. It's gonna go flying everywhere where you start it, when you start it up. Okay, we've put the oil uh, drain pan or drain bolt back in the pan. So here's the part number for the oil filter. And what you want to do before you put your oil filter on is get a bit of new oil. Just put a light film on that gasket, okay? Dump that got a bucket of oil over. Alright, so put that on there. And we're going to spin that back on. You want to make sure it's seated nice. So get it just hand tight should be good enough. There, so that's hand tight. Make sure you get some diesel uh, engine oil okay for your diesel engine so we're going to put 2.7 liters into this engine so we need to end up with how much left in the can boys 2.3 so we're going to leave 2.3 liters in this jug okay so you can make a mark on your jug at 2.3 so there's 2.5 so we need just in between there. So we're going to put a mark on there. 
scratch it in with a pen or a screw or something at 2.3 and we're going to fill up the engine okay so put 2.7 liters and now go nice and slower that might that funnel might overflow because it's got a screen inside of it mm. okay we fill it up let's check the uh oil level hopefully you can see that So we're just below the hash mark there. So I'm gonna start it up and let it run for about a minute. And then we're gonna check the oil one more time. It's still down a bit. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna call that good cause I think it's still finding its way down the engine block. And then we'll probably use the tractor for a few hours and then check the oil level again after that so it's reading about three quarters full okay hopefully that helped you change the oil on your john deere 1026 r i'm sure it's the certain same procedure for the 1025 r so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more great videos thanks for watching